Hello, welcome back to Bottles to Consider. Um, I know it's been a while. It was uh, just a, a busy time. Everything is fine, uh, but just busy. But I'm going to try and be releasing these a little bit more regularly because I was so inspired uh, how many people seemed kind of interested in them. Just m more than I thought, which was cool and made me think, oh, that sort of was a little motivation to, to keep providing the videos. So let's just jump right into the next one. Uh, this here is the Yeti Rambler. It's kind of hidden, but it has a handle. 14 ounce in navy. So 14 ounce, that's, you know, it's a, it's a big size for a mug. Um, almost two cups. I want to jump in first, in fact, uh, to the cons. Um, because I just think they're important and they might fully kind of write it off as a, a vessel for you. Uh, so I want to get those through and then you'll sort of know. And then we'll get into you know, what's good about it, why my mind has sort of changed about it a little bit, and um, why it could be a good fit even if you're, you're on the fence. Uh, so anywho, the, the cons. It's not a travel-friendly mug. Basically, it's like if you're comfortable bringing a, a regular coffee mug somewhere, then this can go there. Not a ton more, because I'll say it basically fits in no cup holders. And with a handle, it really doesn't fit in cup holders. Even without the handle, it's it's wide. It's big. I wish I had another cup. Let me grab another mug. It might be illustrative. So this is a, a super regular 12-ounce mug. You know, and it's just, it's bigger in every dimension. Well, actually, it's about the same height. So really, it's just a bigger circle. It's not going to fit in a cup holder. It's not going to fit in like the pocket on the side of a backpack. So it's just not that functional if you're trying to travel and have your your hot liquids. Also, it has this lid, which I mean, what I love about this lid is its simplicity. I love not having lots of parts, uh, both for cleaning purposes and for breakage purposes. You know, I heard someone say once that it was like, uh, uh, no, I forget the saying now. It was something like, if you have a faulty bolt on a submarine door, then the whole submarine's a piece of junk. You know, just like that it's it's the weakest link is, is what you need to be careful for. And the fewer kind of small plastic parts you have, the fewer links there are. And so th I really like that about this. It's like there's two things. Uh, the lid is a similar to other Yeti lids, uh, which I enjoy. It's not threaded, um, but it's got this kind of rubber, it's a sort of like double gasket that just kind of squeezes in. So it's not a 100% leak proof thing. And I mean, it doesn't even have a way to shut the, you know, sippy part. It's just open. So again, this mug is really, you know, leaning into like, this is not throwing your backpack. But the lid's simple. I like that it's clear. I like being able to see how much coffee I have. I like not having to, to weigh it and, and guess. So that's nice. Yeah, great lid. Uh, any, I don't, I'm not gonna make too big a claim on that right now, actually. But anywho, so yeah, super not travel friendly. So it's a little bit like, okay, then why would you ever get this mug? Who's this mug for? What circumstance does this mug, you know, really succeed in? And I mean, it really comes down to this. If you like the feeling of sipping from a coffee cup and you want it to stay warm, then this is, I think, better than a coffee cup for just your home life. Now, of course, many people are sort of working from home and are in their homes way more than they used to be. So, you know, maybe your morning coffee used to be while you were driving somewhere. And in that case, you wanted something without handles that you could put in a backpack, put in a cup holder. Um, and now those factors maybe aren't that important. You might just kind of be in, in your house, your apartment or something. Um, and if you like that feel of a coffee mug, then this provides it, but the coffee actually stays warm. Cause I'll tell you, and I think I've mentioned this in other videos before, 
when I'm just hanging out at my house, I don't want to use a mug, even though I enjoy the feel, because it's like it gets room temperature before I can finish it. It's, I don't understand why people drink hot things out of these, unless you like room temperature, you know? If you like the, the process of hot coffee becoming room temperature, then I guess I get it. Otherwise, I'm like, why don't you control it at the temperature you want? Maybe let it cool down and then put it in a thermos. Like, why, why are we putting up with this? Why am I putting up with this is the question. I don't mean to throw a judgment on other people, I guess. So anywho, this, you know, if that feeling, that like sense memory of just kind of having a thing with a handle, a mug that you kind of hold like this as you're walking around, super easy to sip from, you know, without any mechanical components. Also, since it's not threaded, if you take the lid off, it's very comfortable to sip on. It makes it not 100% leak proof, but it's, it's really nice. Um, and I think for me often worth it. So you can have the lid off. It's like comfortable to sip on straight from the metal. And then once it, it, you know, goes down in temperature, gets to a temperature that's more where you want to keep it, put this on. Now, it's not going to stay warm all day like this, um, but it's going to stay warm so much longer than on a mug. That said, there are a number of insulated mug-like options out there. I think all, all or at least many of sort of the the brands I'm familiar with, so like Yeti, Hydro Flask, Clean Canteen. Just to say, this isn't your only option. If that kind of like mug plus insulation is exciting to you, still worth poking around. This is kind of big. I think I could be into something a little smaller, or perhaps, you know, smaller circle and a little taller. But this also has that like big cup of Java feel, you know, like that kind of like 90s, early 2000s huge mug feel. So if you like that, then I would say this is probably the one for you. But, you know, worth looking around. But I think this overall is just a style that if you have not considered before and you're spending more time at home, might simply just be an interesting change from a mug. And of all those options, this one is wonderful in many ways. So I would at least give it a look. Um, yeah, again, it's the Yeti 14 ounce Rambler in Navy. Uh, and yeah, there'll be a link in the description to it. Uh, and a link maybe to a few other mug-like products. Pardon me. Uh, well, 